everyone, this is Odyssey and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so it's been almost a year since I moved from Philippines to Germany, so I thought of sharing some work benefits that we are receiving here just in case you're interested to work just in case you're interested to work abroad. Okay, so before we begin, I'd just like to say a little disclaimer. I'm speaking about my experience. The benefits I'll be talking about may or may not be the same for everyone that is working here in Germany. Of course, there may be some differences due to state or the contract that you have signed up with your employer. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, first, holidays and annual leave. So hear this out. Employees in Germany are entitled to a minimum of 20 days of vacation per year. 20 days of vacation per year that is based on a five-day working week or 25 days based on a six-day working week. Yes, you heard it right. But wait, there's more. Though in practice, most employers give more vacation days between 27 and 30 days excluding public holidays <laughs> um based on my own experience at work for example i'm given 30 days of annual leave last october we were already asked to submit our planned vacation leaves for next year but for example one of your planned leaves fall on a Sunday. It is not counted as one day, but rather half. So technically you earn another extra day. Another example, one of my housemates work on a night shift. So for him, he earns extra days of vacation leaves whenever he does night shift. So in total, he said that he's earning 35 days of annual leave. <sighs> Generally, you have to use your vacation leaves during the annual fiscal year, but some employers may also permit to have it carry forward until March 31st next year, or you can use unused holiday leave when you render resignation or claim it as a compensation. It varies though um, per employer, so kindly check your contract or do speak with your employer for further clarification. Next, paid public holidays so in germany employees enjoy 13 public holidays please note that it varies per state if you work on a holiday or a sunday because technically it is rest day or you have to recover for your next working shift you earn extra or what we call as suschlag yes next This is lovely. Holidays and Christmas money. All right. So employees do receive additional allowance during the summer and Christmas season. You heard it right. Employers give this kind of allowance. So this is meant to be spent on your summer holidays or on buying gifts or Christmas presents. For us too, I mean at work, we don't have this, um, we don't receive this holiday money. I only learned about this because someone answered in one of my IG stories that their employer pays them or loves guilt and that they receive them um, usually around June or July. It's like your employer was saying, Okay, Frau Asunshon, you worked yourself hard. Go get yourself some vacation. Here's your allowance. Go somewhere warm. <laughs> so, next on my list would be sick leaves. If you're sick, you are sick. Sick time is your right as an employee here in Germany. If you need to take a time off when you're not feeling well, just go to the doctor and get yourself a note or a medical certificate. In the regel, or according to the law, an employer is entitled to receive his full salary of six weeks. If, for an example, an employee still can't go back to work after six weeks notice, he will still receive 70% of his gross salary from his health insurance for a maximum period of 78 weeks. I do notice that Germans do really support work-life balance 
if you're really sick uh, physically, mentally, or emotionally, don't overwork yourself. Go get yourself some much needed time off or rest. It is okay. Next on my list is flexible schedules. <laughs> I'm playing with this because I'm nervous talking to the camera. Ooh. Germans appreciate flexible working hours. So most employees, most employers provide this benefit. So for example, a standard working schedule would be 40 hours per week. You can openly talk to your boss your preferred working window or your preferred time off as long as you still reach that committed hours per week. Say because you have to take care of your child or you're doing additional or educational courses, they are open to conversations like that. I noticed that Germans um, work effectively and efficiently. They go by the saying, Erst die Arbeit, dann das Vergnügen. Prost. Also, the employers are not expected to pressure their employees to work extra hours or work during non-working days. Prost again. <laughs> okay, next. Educational assistance. Um, most employers offer this opportunity to their employees. Say you wanted to hone your skills or level up your career, they provide this assistance. For example, one of my colleagues at work um, was asked if she's interested to enroll in a driving lesson so she can be an ambulant after. Ambulant means she will do nursing care in patients' home or facilities. Normally, employers ask employees what's next for them or how do they see themselves in the next five years. So they provide options and assistance so employees can even better themselves. Um, because to be honest, once a work has already been a routine, it gets boring sometimes, then comes burnout. So a good challenge is a way so employees would still look forward and be excited of what's coming next. Oh, <laughs> we're almost done. Next is health insurance, of course. This is fair to everyone in Germany, poor or rich. 100% health insurance. Um, this is one thing that I love when I moved in Germany because I know for sure how expensive medical bills can be. This health insurance covers um, hospital stays, dental care, routine doctors, or follow-up checkup drugs or prescribed medicines, eyeglasses, immunizations. Prescribed medicines bought in drugstores even have discounts or you can reimburse it for tax purposes. <laughs> Last on my list would be retirement and pension. All employees who have worked and paid contributions in Germany for 60 months or five years will receive his or her pension after reaching 65 or German's official pensionable age. The main goal is to provide a standard appropriate living for four people when they retire. And for example, you go back to your homeland after five years of working in Germany, you are still entitled to get your pension. Yay! That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. Um, I know there's a lot more benefits that I haven't talked about in this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you're interested to know more about these other benefits so I can make a part two video. Thank you so much for your support. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers!